Have you ever heard of a piata? It's not just the name of a restaurant, maybe you've seen the restaurant, but it is a type of food. Joel Mayo is the general manager at Piata Italian Street Food. How are you? I'm doing great, thanks. Thanks for being here today. Um, I look at the Piata and I think Italian burrito. Am I crazy? You're not completely crazy. <laughs> I'm a okay. little crazy. Um, so I would say the biggest difference between a burrito and a piatta is really going to be the dough. Okay. So it's a thin Italian dough, and we bake it on a stone grill, typically. Um, you can really cook it on any kind of cooking surface. So for instance, here today, we're using a crepe maker. Yep. If you wanted to cook it at home, you can always use just a flat top or some kind of skillet to heat the dough up. Okay. Um, but yeah, so it's a hand-rolled Italian wrap. It's, and it says in the name of the, of the restaurant is Italian street food. Is this really a street food in Italy? I'm going to Italy next year, so I need to know. Yeah, so you can find something extremely similar. Um, a piatta is derived from a piadina, which you can find at the street carts, specifically in Rimini, Italy. Um, they're usually a little bit more simple, um, but our owner and founder kind of started the concept based on what he saw at the street carts in Italy. I think it's so brilliant, <coughs> excuse me, so brilliant. You guys have a few locations here around town. I told you I go to the, I see the Cotswold one all the time and I think I need to go in there, I need to go in there. Let's make a piatta so we can show people what it's all about. Of course, my pleasure. So again, we start with the dough on the flat top grill. Oh man, it's pretty thin. Yes, it is thin. So we're gonna toast it up. It's gonna have a nice texture to it. It's gonna get a little crispy flakiness to it. Yep. Um, and the dough itself has a lot of flavor to it. Um, it's got a lot of garlic in there, mm. um, bunch of seasonings. So we're gonna go ahead and paint it with our extra virgin olive oil. Okay, now you got me. And then season it with our piatta seasoning. What, what, can, what's the secret of the piatta seasoning? So it's a special ratio of salt and pepper. Oh, you gotta have the right ratio. You gotta have the right I ratio it. or it's you. not piatta seasoning. I get it, and it ends up looking like that one there in front of Brian? Yes, exactly. All right, and then let's talk about the fillings. What kinds of things can people put in their piatta? Sure, so at Piatta, you know, we got a wide range of fresh Italian-based ingredients. Um, one of our fan favorites, which is what I'm going to build for you today, mm -hmm. is our avocado piatta. Yes, please, let's do it. Excellent, so we're going to start with some of our arugula. Mm -hmm. I always find it, I, I'm always impressed by people like you who make things like this because when I try to do this at home, I overstuff and then it doesn't fold. You know the exact amount of That's right. right. Ingredients. We've got lots of practice as well, but we're going to go ahead and add some mozzarella, a mm -hmm. little bit of our crumbled pancetta bacon. Ugh, not just regular old bacon, fancy bacon. And then we're going to add some of our roasted corn salad, which this is my favorite part. It's roasted corn, some grape tomatoes basil, it's got some thyme and other seasonings in there. Ooh, it sounds so fresh, I could just eat that. And then we're last, we're gonna add some avocado. I always have the freshest looking avocados. I never pick the right avocados at the store. Well, you can buy them a little ripe and then wait for them to get ready. That way you don't miss the window. There you go. And then we're gonna add some of our basil aioli. This is just a mayo-based sauce that we season with our basil pesto. Um, we add a little bit of spice. You can add some citrus to it if you wanted to make it at home. Mm -hmm. And then you can add some protein to this. At Piatto, we got about seven different proteins, everything from grilled chicken and steak yeah. to our salmon and calamari. Really? You which can we put have calamari in amazing there. calamari, hand breaded, fresh to order, yeah. and it's definitely a fan favorite as well. Okay. How do you roll it up? So then from here, we're just going to roll it up, kind of just tuck your edges in, and you just use your thumbs to roll it up and over. Mm. I love that because it's nice and veggie and that makes my little heart happy. How do you cut it in half? Yeah, so we can cut it in half. Typically in our restaurants, we um, just serve it whole like this. Um, uh -huh. But those are some finished piattas that we have there. This one being the avocado. And then this is our limited time offer. It's our caprese piatta. Ooh. It's made specifically for summer. Highlights some of those fresh summery ingredients such as our slow yellow roasted tomatoes. We have a fresh creamy mozzarella as well as our basil pesto and balsamic glaze in that one. All of that sounds really, really good. If I get you a knife, will you cut that one that you just made for I me would so love that to. I can taste it? Yeah, or will better yet, work? you know, we prepared those earlier. Oh, look at you. You've got it all figured out. Oh my gosh, Mary, do you want me to save you half for lunch? Please. All right. I'm we got more if anyone else is hungry. You know there are hungry people around here. <laughs> all right, let me try. Mm-hmm. 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 
Mm-hmm. It looks so good. It looks like like the perfect <laughs> avocado in there too, Kristen. It gets better as you go. Ooh, that's really, really good. And that corn, corn salad is good. All yeah. right. All the information on your screen for Piata. Again, they have a few locations in town if you want to check them out. Of course, this will live on our QC Kitchen app as well. So if you don't have the QC Kitchen app, go ahead and download it right now. It's in, our, in your app store. No matter what kind of phone you have, it is free. All of the segments we do here in the QC Kitchen are right there in the QC Kitchen app. Joel, thank you so much for making us lunch. This no is problem. Yummy. Thanks for having me.